Well, what happened when COVID-19 hit? All the borders got closed, air, airline travel stopped, and so did our business. That's why we decided we need to help. And this was our way of doing it. We had the opportunity, we certainly had the space, and our initiative was born. That initiative started by Today Living was aimed at turning their corporate housing business into housing for frontline health and essential workers. And at the time, you know, we, we hadn't really considered subsidization, what can we do? We reached out to the governments to see if we could work hand in hand to provide housing at a special rate. We had absolutely no response from the governments whatsoever. So we went to work to create a program where we could su supply housing at a reduced subsidy for all of these people who needed it so desperately. The group is providing fully furnished and fully serviced units for all essential workers. The goal is to provide a comfortable stay for these frontline workers. Workers like resident doctor Dulia Hamad, who in this picture shows her battle wound from wearing a mask during a shift long fight against COVID-19. I think at first it was, it was a little bit scary because we weren't sure what was going to happen and how hard the pandemic was going to hit us in Toronto. Hamad says that stress is slowly lowering as a strategic plan to deal with COVID-19 has been put in place at St. Michael's Hospital where she works. However, her fear is bringing COVID-19 home to her fiance and roommate who is also a doctor. So this service couldn't have come sooner. In that context, having having the housing here was really helpful um, because we, you know, we were able to, to separate and we were able to, to continue um, looking looking after our patients. You know, it's, when you're when you're testing positive and when or when you're exposed, it means that you have to spend two weeks at home. Um, and so that's that's a really big impact on the rest of the healthcare team. That's a really big impact on the patient, and and it's really frustrating for us to have to be home when, when you know we're we're feeling, uh, we're feeling for our colleagues, and we we want to be there and help. The Today Living Group says they have reached out to all levels of government to assist in their efforts to no avail at this time, but hope that recognizing housing as an essential need for essential workers will lead to some changes so that they can continue to house frontline workers, helping keeping us safe from COVID-19. Brandon Rose, City News.